Good morning. We are in Philemon today, and there's one chapter to this book, so it's really quick and simple for us, but it is the last of Paul's prison epistles. So we've been through Philippians, we've been through Ephesians, we just wrapped up Colossians. So we're going to hit one chapter in Philemon, and then we're going to move on to Ruth. And we're going to have a good time learning about Ruth because we love uh, learning about the ladies of the Bible. But for Philemon, we're going to read in verse number six, and I'm in New King James today. So I love this. This is going to be a good passage. It says, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll back up and I'll start in verse 4, but I want to highlight verse 6. It says, I thank my God, making mention of you always in my prayers, hearing of your love and faith, which you have towards the Lord Jesus and towards all the saints. Here we go. That the sharing of your faith may become effective by the acknowledgement of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. This is This is good. All right, so think about this. Like, have you ever felt like when you share your faith, it's not really effective? Like, you're not sure if people are getting what you're saying. You know, it's bouncing off the ceiling. I don't know. I felt like that several times of, like, I'm talking about God, but I don't feel like I'm really, um, like, it's really effective. So this this tells us a, a key point of how, how to make our faith effective. So it says the sharing of your faith may become effective. Effective how? It says by the acknowledgement of every good thing which is in you. So so if you're nervous about talking about your faith or evangelizing or, you know, those those words can make us nervous, especially for more introverted, which I am. Um, This is good because the way that you can share your faith effectively is by simply acknowledging the good things that are in you because they are what Christ has doing in you or has done in you. So for example, you know, if if you're working on a project or you're serving in some capacity at, at a school or at church and someone says, "Hey, thanks for thanks for helping." And you're like, "Hey, it's my pleasure." Uh, these are, this is just the good work of the Lord in me. Like I love doing this thing. So acknowledge that when, when people tell you, thank you, you can acknowledge the work that Christ has done in your life and use that as an avenue. And you know, you have to be, have to be a little careful in, in the workplace sometimes with that, but just even keeping that mentality so that when you are presented with that opportunity, that you can be bold about it and and share it forward. So remember that the sharing of your faith may become effective through the acknowledgement of the good things Christ has done in you. So what good things has Christ done in you that you can acknowledge, that you can give him glory, and that you can share with others as an encouragement? So have a great week. You'll have another video for Philemon, and then we'll be heading into Ruth. So don't forget to sign up on the Facebook page. So you're getting those, um, getting those Bible studies via email and you're following along, doing your study, and then we'll do these videos to keep, um, keep our focus through the week. Great. Thanks.